This is the Earth Science Classroom. In this video, we're looking at drawing out the convergent plate boundary, looking at the continental plate colliding with the continental plate. So two plates of similar or the same composition colliding on the Earth's surface, and we're looking at the natural features and geomorphology that come about or from this type of plate boundary. So on both sides of the diagram, we have our continental plate, which is made of the crust and lithosphere, our solid rigid surface layer, which can vary between 25 to 100 kilometers thick. And below it, we have the asthenosphere, which is our plastic, our able to flow layer, which includes the magma and includes our convection currents, which is the basic mechanism for moving the plates above. Our continental plates are composed of mostly granitic rocks, which is granite and andesite, and variations of that. And the density is around 2.7 grams per centimeter cubed. Now, both of these plates that collide in are of similar or equal density. Therefore, we have a situation that is created when these two plates collide and kind of floats on top of the much denser asthenosphere, which is 3.4 to around 4.5 grams per centimeter cubed. So here we have the collision of the two continental plates whereby, unlike the other boundaries, we have subduction or the transform plate boundary. You have this accumulation of rock right in the middle and it's easier to go up in the atmosphere. So it creates this crumpling and collision effect of this massive mountain or orogenic belt that has been created and this orogenic effect of pushing the rock up in the air, creating a huge mountain range and high relief high elevation and it also goes deeper down in the asthenosphere as it is a larger more mass of rock it's going to sink down deeper into the asthenosphere which will create what's called lithostatic equilibrium is how you get things to float and this is very common in this situation of two plates that are both the same density occurring which is a great example of the alps himalayas which is india smashing into eurasia So here you see the moho, which is the separating boundary between the plate and the below asthenosphere, the change in velocity of earthquake waves. And you have this deeper section of around 100 kilometers max before it goes into the asthenosphere. And you have inside the mountain range, you have these folded mountain layers and rock combinations, and you have these faults these compression faults and you get lots of earthquakes in this kind of region and you get the elevated mountain creating changes in the climate over long periods of time and changing river courses and even creating rivers like the Ganges from the formation of the Himalayan mountains. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and maybe hit the like button. And if you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on earth science.